In today's video, we're going to look at how you can plot a straight line on a graph. There's a few different ways that you can do this, but in general, the easiest way to do it is to find the two points where the line will cross the axis, and then use these two points to form your line. For example, let's imagine that we had to draw the line of this equation, y equals 2x minus 4. And we had been told that the line will cross the y-axis down here at 0 minus 4. And it will cross the x-axis over here at 2, 0. In this case, all we'd have to do is draw a line connecting these two points. And that there would be the line of y equals 2x minus 4. Now, in real life, it's not quite this simple. Because we normally have to find these two points where it crosses the axes ourselves. Luckily though, finding the points where a line cuts the axis is actually really simple. Because everywhere along the y-axis, we know that the x-coordinate will be 0. And everywhere along the x-axis, the y-coordinate will be 0. So to find the point where the line cuts the y-axis, we just plug x equals 0 into our equation. Because we're trying to find out what y is when x is 0. So if we substitute 0 into this equation, we get y equals 2 times 0 minus 4, which is just y equals negative 4. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Then to find the x-intercept, we just do the opposite and plug y equals 0 into the equation. So 0 equals 2x minus 4, which we can rearrange to 4 equals 2x and then simplify to 2 equals x. So the x-intercept is 2, 0. The reason this technique is so good is that when you plug in x or y as 0, it completely gets rid of that term, which makes the equation easy to rearrange. Let's try one more. So here, you're trying to sketch the graph of y equals minus a half x plus 3. The first thing you need to do is find those y and x intercepts. To find the y intercept, you need to plug in x equals 0, which will give us y equals minus a half times 0 plus 3, which simplifies to just y equals 3. So the y intercept is 0, 3. Then for the x intercept, you need to plug in y equals 0, which gives 0 equals minus a half x plus 3, which you can rearrange to get 1 half x equals 3, and then multiply by 2 to get x equals 6. So the x-intercept is 6, 0. And now that you've got the x and y intercepts, all you have to do is draw a line that extends through both of the points and label it. And we're all done. Anyway, that's everything. So hope that it all made sense, and cheers for watching.